Alrighty guys, welcome to Keep On Growing. It's Mike Van Doozy and we're inside today because it's only 100 degrees outside. Uh, let me know how hot it is where y'all are at. I know on the other side of the plant you're just heading into spring, that's awesome, but here it's like hot and you really don't want to be out in the middle of the day. But this is a great time. I know lots of people don't want to talk about gardening, you know, over here in the States right now, but this is a great time to like learn things you know uh, go ahead and prep up for fall some of you are starting your fall garden already your plantings and that the people who have an early frost us people down here where we grow almost year round we're gonna have to wait a little bit because it's just too hot out there and we can grow straight into December and January down here too so uh, lots going on but I want to let you all know a couple of things one thing is the uh, nutrients I'm gonna give away this to our channel members I'm gonna go into our, our membership and, and pick somebody at random. I'm just gonna have a little random drawing. I'm gonna put all your names in there. So if you're a channel member already, you don't have to worry about doing anything. I'm just gonna take all the names, put them in a random drawing, and now I'll make a video that will be, will be members only because uh, I really appreciate you guys. And I was thinking if I give anything away to anyone, it's the people who help support the channel and, and make it possible to, to buy all the different wacky things that we're doing to experiment and to learn different things and to share it with everybody else. So uh, not just me, but everyone else who watches this channel needs to thank all of y'all too. So I just want to do that for you. Uh, everybody else, I'll figure out something else like some microgreens or something, but I want to take our channel members too. If you guys, this is the paying channels. It's not just if you're a subscriber, it's if you're part of the channel membership where you pay every month. I want to I go in there every month and I'm going to give something away to, to you guys and uh, when I start getting a little bit more time I'll have the private live streams with you I know I haven't been doing that so I feel a little guilty that's why I want to do something for you guys because you guys make this channel possible so thank you very much the other thing is that we're experimenting with a lot of stuff and I want people to understand that this is a bunch of experiments it's not tutorial so don't do exactly what I'm doing and think you're gonna get a great result that this is my learning process and I'm sharing it with everyone because uh, I hope that some of you might see what I'm doing I'm not gonna use any you know cheap and easy as you know the name of the game here right so we're not gonna have to go out and buy a bunch of fancy equipment and everything and maybe some of you will be brave enough to experiment alongside of me and then that way if I'm trying to do something maybe I'm doing something a little wrong or, or heading down the wrong road you might try something a little different than if somebody's watching you maybe two people will see what we're doing and try something a little different and a little different and then we all come back and share our results and then maybe we're all doing the same thing can share our different results and and see what's going on or the people do take a different path you know that with all of this stuff and, and using the internet and being able to share it maybe that uh, we can figure this out a whole lot quicker so if you guys want to experiment along you know contact me and and if you got questions and, and we'll figure some stuff out and if you just want to watch that's great and the input that you guys the reason why I'm kind of putting this out there too is because you know when you're real close to a project sometimes you don't see things and then you guys are always commenting and saying different things maybe something will click that I'm not doing something just right and maybe I'll try something that I hadn't thought of before so that's why I want to share it all and I, I just want people if you're new to this channel and you're just popping on here to understand that we're experimenting and, and we're trying different things that um, I could just do tutorials and and I've been growing for like over 10 years the cracky system the the continuous harvest system and there's a bunch of videos there's like 400 videos on my channel and I can still just come up I've got terabytes of, of film that that I've shot over the years and I can just make videos like that but I, I got excited when somebody was asking about you know if we could make traditional gardening cheap and easy and, and incorporating the hydroponics and some people ask questions like if we keep depending on fertilizers what happens if we had like a little scare with the fertilizer supply right or the economy goes bad or some business uh, they just go out of business somebody that we've all depended on uh, you know that something that's out of our hands happens then when we were depending on inputs all the time and those inputs aren't, aren't there anymore what do we do and just looking into you know what our, the pioneers did and what uh, civilizations throughout history have done you know everybody's had to eat we've been farming for for thousands and thousands of years 
and all of a sudden we think we've got it all figured out in the past couple of decades and that's the way we need to do it and if you don't do it that way you can't be successful so just going into all of this is just getting me really excited and thinking of new and different ways that we can do things and maybe there's just some simple little thing that we didn't think about or that people weren't thinking about everyone just doing it at home that, that all of the experiments and research have been geared towards making a product to sell and all of a sudden maybe with the power of the internet and us being able to experiment and share that maybe we might be able to figure out something that can help mankind help everybody out there just be able to grow some of your own food so that's why i'm sharing i'm excited about it it's going to be a lot of fun and 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 if you guys want to experiment along that would just be fantastic but if you just want to watch or give a little input that'd be cool too so uh it's going to be a fun ride the other part the other thing i wanted to say is that me and keely as we're changing stuff up a little bit you know I've got to understand the living soil and that and then we've all seen like the pictures of people like grabbing a handful of soil and like smelling it and just getting excited about it uh, that I'm getting into the thing about we're, we're feeding the soil we're not actually feeding the plants and I'll have videos coming out there's videos out there and there's people to watch and I've been watching somebody turn me on to well Nate the, the uh, garden like a Viking and the natural things he's doing and Chris Trump the Korean natural farming um, just all the little experiments you see me doing I'm gonna be doing a lot of that there's gonna be a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to redo some stuff outside and organize and make shelves to put all these buckets that we're storing all this natural stuff in and in different places once we do things like this like you saw me doing this little test with the microgreens a couple of times when I do that that's gonna go over and over and over and over it's gonna be a long drawn-out process so you know if you're not into the experimenting and that you might want to just come back in a year or two and just see what we figured out but that's what i'm getting into because if that works if we can figure something out that can benefit like loads and loads of people out there and uh i'm going to be dedicating a space for that outside it used to be for like the downspouts when we went through you know i used to make these i've made thousands and thousands of these and now there's other people making it so that was all part of the plan that this wasn't some fancy design that people couldn't duplicate right and then other people are making it other people are selling it uh, world grace project is selling the end caps there's other people who made end caps there so it, the the process is going out there and other people are duplicating it it's nothing about anybody's copying anything it's that we're sharing information so now other people are doing that so now that frees my time up i don't have to make them anymore that i can experiment with different things and we can figure other stuff uh, other stuff out so as we're changing our garden because i need to figure out like the soil and how all of that works and we're kind of getting out of the realm of easy when we talk about the living soil and and bacteria and fungi and microbes and nematodes and just all of the stuff that the microscopic level before we even get to an earthworm or anything right there's a lot that goes into it and and i don't want to confuse people there's a lot of videos out there i can point you to different people like we're talking about like nate or chris trump or or just all these other people that are out there but if you just want the nice cheap and easy way kind of follow along and what we're going to do is try to figure out a way to do it and that's why I'm going to start off with, like I said, there's organic fertilizers out there, but those work with like the commercial systems with the aeration and pumps and filtration and checking the EC and monitoring levels and your pH and all of that, right? So stuff does work if you want to go that route. But when we talk about just their cheap and easy, grow some microgreens, toss them into a container and, and try to grow some food, sometimes these don't work really well, but we're going to try. And what I've done was since this didn't work for me, I've only tried it a couple times. I can't give up that easy. I was like, you know what? I, I only did it like twice. I said, so let's try it again. So I got more, like, like a lot more. So that's gonna be one thing because this, this I found out was basically fish and corn and not a whole lot of other stuff. So that's what we wanna work with is stuff that I can kind of produce myself if I need to. And, and it's stuff that if you guys watch these other channels that you can make fish isolate you just have to have a stomach for it so there's there's things that we can do and what I'm gonna do is find easy ways easy things that you guys can do that kind of emulate it too but also find you know what works where if we're cut off from everything else that we can still 
not totally be self-sufficient, but maybe a little less dependent, right? That we can take care of ourselves, that, that we can save money to use for other things by growing some of our own food. So that's what we're working on. And as we change things up in the back, we're not getting rid of all the hydroponics, but I'm taking a lot of that down because it was feeling like a nursery, right? When I went out there, it was just, I love having this and the continuous harvest system, growing microgreens, put them in here, but it was kind of like walking into a nursery. And I want it to feel more like a paradise back there and, and someplace that Keeley's gonna really enjoy. And Keeley does all kinds of artwork and everything. And we haven't done it for a while and, and we're kind of getting itchy fingers for that. So we're gonna change the backyard up. And we want it to look like, um, like Disney World meets Dr. Cracky or something like that. Or like the Epcot Center, you know, you're, you're cruising through there. And even though it was like fascinating, and and look cool and there was like this sense of wonder but there was also education and you were learning something too that's kind of what we're working on and and we want your input and that's where we're going to go from here as i start doing it like i showed you where we're going to start our water catchment and we're just starting that now we're going to build out something it's going to look cool it's going to have uh like tree stumps and little fairies and gnomes or whatever and you guys give us your input and maybe if you guys want to go out and get your own little fairies or gnomes or whatever would be in a garden or a butterfly or a cat or or whatever and if you want to send it to us put your little name on it or something we can incorporate it into what we're building and that might be a little cool going through and seeing things and seeing stuff that you know your little stuff in there too so we've got all kind of ideas uh, plenty of videos coming out and that's what we're working on now when it's hot and we really don't feel like growing too much when you really have to work hard and and things don't grow as fast because they're in the shade or they're just wilting during the day maybe we'll just cut back on this a little bit and we'll start switching our stuff out like keely get out there and work her magic and we're going to change up the shade house uh take all the vines off and the squash leaves those looked awesome and just gave us a great idea and we found some other people online that, that make stuff outdoor decorations and we're going to make a, a bunch of things so that when these things die off, we can take them off and we can put some up that are just going to be up there permanent like. And we're going to change it, make it more natural, wood looking, maybe some stone, all kinds of stuff. You guys know that, you know, when we get into artistic mode, it's just going to be fantastic and, and lots of fun too. So we're going to do that. Like I said, it's going to be more like, like Dr. Crack, he goes to Disney World or something and it's going to be where everything's going to be incorporated into the design where we're going to have the water catchment and a little water feature where we can get our, our rainwater to use all our natural stuff and have these things incorporated into it instead of just looking like a bunch of downspouts sitting across on the table. So I hope you guys are in for that. It's going to be fun and, and we'd like your input to help us as we're designing it if you think something looks funky or if we should do this or, or give us an idea because like we said, even with the gardening when you're close to a project, sometimes you don't see everything and when you step back and you guys step way back, you're like, you know what would look cool over there? You know what you should do with this? And then maybe you guys will think of something that me and Keely wouldn't have thought of in a million years, right? So thank you guys very much. You guys keep doing what you're doing. Share things up with everyone. Lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time. Oh, stay cool.